Hi, this is Sean Pekarsik with Luna Well Cymatics, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to adapt two inexpensive waterproof Bluetooth speakers and using a inexpensive typical selfie light ring like this for your phone. Uh, you could be doing cymatics really easily and inexpensively around $20-$25 between one of these units and the light ring. Uh, you'll need a, a phone or some other Bluetooth device also because these have no connections. Um, and it's no build, so that was the key for this this video is to provide something inexpensive and with no building. Now there is a little bit of retrofitting and I'm going to get into that right now. So we're going to set this one aside for now. This is the Ac Acuvar. Um, it's a very generic speaker. You'll find many different prototypes of that, but I'll be making a uh, link for that in the video, so I'm going to set that aside. Then here we, we're going to do this one first. This is the Iwa A106 Pro. It's actually a good little speaker. Uh, you can use it for anything. Uh, just as a normal Bluetooth speaker, you'll be happy with it. It uh, has a nice bass response. It's waterproof. It has this little baffle on the bottom. Uh, so let's get to it. So basically there's a speaker under there, and we need to get to it. That's all that we're going to be doing is removing this grill, and this thing is ready to go. So what we're going to do is you can find anything like a screw or an awl, something sharp that can be that could fit in that hole, but don't poke it down through too far to where you damage the speaker underneath. So you just go just enough to get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna go ahead and use this drywall screw because it's just so common. So um, I think you're I think I'm focused good. So you do you know I, I've already done this a couple of times. So there's a glue that's holding this down, and what you're gonna do is just go in there and just gonna pry it. See how it kind of peels up. And you might have to work your way around. Whatever it takes, just take that off and just be careful that speaker under there. You have a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. There it is, you just remove that, which is really interesting. Nice 40 point uh, spiral pattern. I'll be using it for some water dynamics later. So, uh, a <laughs> little tangent there. So, there it is. We, re we revealed the uh, speaker. And now the next step is to turn it on. You just hold that. There's only one button on the side of this unit. Now I'm going to uh, link, there it is, I'm now connected with my phone. Alright, so now online, on, uh, I mean on, uh, on your apps or whatever you may have for your phone or lap, laptop or tablet, um, there's lots of different uh, programs that are free, apps, and I'm going to use this one. Uh, just, so just go in there and um, search for function generator or frequency generator and something will pop up. I'm not exactly sure of this name, but there's any of them will work really well. Um, okay, so now I'm connected, and what it does is this is going to produce a tone, so we're just going to go with that real quick. So the next step is you're going to add water. I have to, I'm going to hurry, try to hurry so I can get to the next one. So you're going to add enough water in the middle of the speaker, and it's waterproof, so you don't have to worry about it. And that grill we took off is not essential to the function of the Bluetooth speaker, so don't worry about, worry about that. Not being there. So you're going to fill up just enough. There we go. Actually, just a little too much. To go over. Okay. So now, and now a key essential of cymatics, and you'll learn this once you get into this stuff, um, but you always want to turn your volume all the way down when you initiate a tone or music or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit 100 hertz. And then I'm going to start bringing the. Uh, Turn up, soup, boom, see it? Alright, now I'm going to grab the light ring. Alright, now the light ring goes on your phone. And make sure that you, the aperture of the camera is near center as possible. Turn that on. Now I'm going to bring up the camera. Rotate this so the viewers can see it. And there we go. Now, the vi um, now you have to mess with the volume a little bit. So, just backwards. Uh, oops. Hold on. Alright. I'm just going to um, get something a little more stable there. Okay, that's good. So, and, you know, 100 hertz may not be the best frequency for that particular amount of volume of water. But you get the idea. All right, so let's skip. Um, let's skip right to some music. Uh, you have to excuse my uh, repertoire. 
a string of Pandu or something like that. I'll return your volume down again. Okay. Now, can you see that? Now I'm gonna. Oops. <laughs> Too much volume. <laughs> it's very tricky. So, there's little bloopers for us there. Let's check this out again. See it? Alright, so there it is. You're doing cymatics. Cymatics is a little messy, especially when you're experimenting. Um, I'm going to show you some some more advanced uh, options for modifying this one later on in a different video. Okay. Alright, that's enough for the A. That's enough for this one, so I'm going to move on to the next one. So you see see how that one worked. It was really simple. All we had to re do is remove that. Okay. So now, uh, I'm not sure how much video I have. Hopefully I can fit this in. So the next one is real, real simple too. The same thing we're going to do is just remove the grate. In order to do that, you just need something sharp like this, like a knife, a packet knife, maybe a butter knife or steak knife, something to get down in a screwdriver, and you just kind of work your way around the edge. It's again, it's not glued in there very well, and it'll eventually just, oops, it would eventually just pop off. Boom! This middle part. Um, all right, so now next, same step again. You're going to turn. The unit on. Bluetooth mode. We're gonna uh, apply water. Go a little quicker here. To, this is a larger basin. And what makes this nice? For, this one particularly nice for standing waves. It has this really nice even concentric boundary on it, and it's a like a, a siliconized kind of plastic. So it doesn't, the water doesn't adhere to it well, um, which makes for a really nice boundary condition. So again, we're gonna, um, now we're gonna uh, go to the standing uh, function generator again. I'm gonna push this a little bit towards the center. Make sure my volume's down. Here, I think I remember it 44 being pretty nice. So let's start there. Get my light ring, and then so you slowly bring the. Oops, I don't think I'm connected to that. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh no, I am. Huh. Um. I guess the. Uh... Oh, I have it on pause. Wait. Oh, there it goes. It just takes a little bit of... It just took a little bit of force. <laughs> it was just... The volume was too low. Okay, so then again, so let's bring up the camera. And now you're going to see... Look at that. Look how well that produces a standing wave. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's that simple. That's all we had to do. Boom. That's 44 hertz running in there. You saw me, I just took like five minutes, ten minutes to do that. Remove that top. And you are doing cymatics. Alright guys, I hope this was uh, enough information for you to, in order to take these two inexpensive speakers and make a cymatics rig with a selfie light ring. You could use any kind of light ring that you could possibly find around your house too. So that's something to consider um, and then uh, these two Bluetooth speakers and the light ring I'll give links in this video um, and God bless take care love y'all